Alright, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Out here walking miles. But, uh, yeah, I just heard the news knowing a little bit on the late freight. Uh, uh, the judge handed down uh, one sentence to a, a non trade member, the godfather of the non trade uh, Bloods male murder. He get 11 years. He could have been facing 14 years uh, in all. And also, he also pled guilty to some other drug charges back in April that he could be facing up to possibly 14 years. So he won't be going to trial for that. But let's talk about it a little bit. Goodfella Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, this other dog barking at my dog every day. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. He the one that said he wanted to super violate uh, Takashi 69 on the wiretap. And um, I guess he was talking to Jim Jones. Him and Jim Jones was real, real close. And then he the one that was asking the judge for leniency in the, uh, in the letter that I uh, I talked about. Now, a lot of guys talked about the letter. He was saying that basically, you know, in the hood, he ain't had no other way to go but the streets. And the dudes on the corner was the guys they looked up to because they didn't have no family and no father that cared about them. And at the end of the day, I agree with the struggle. You know what I'm saying? But he got on with Jim Jones in the music career. And he said basically Jim Jones, you know, and, and, and joining the diplomats, you know, got him deeper into the gang affiliations and stuff of that nature. So, uh, basically what they were saying, the judge and them were saying that, uh, he could have found a way out. He didn't want to leave the streets and that's probably the situation. You know, when you, uh, grow up in it and, um, you grow up around it and they're the only people that, uh, that really care about you. And, um, the only people that really, you know, seem to give you money and look out for you, buying school clothes and doing whatever, uh, doing whatever they doing, uh, for you. Those are the people you look up to, you know? And, um... They could never, like, at the end of the day, the letter made him seem weak. And I don't know if it knocked three years off his sentence. I think he could have faced 14. But, uh, you know, you know, we don't bend, we don't fold, we don't break. It's Trey Way, whatever they were saying. You know, it kind of seemed like he went out like a sucker. But you know what? He could have been doing, he could have been facing three more years if it wasn't for that, for that letter. Now, his lawyer was trying to recommend that he only get 78 months, which, you know, at the end of the day, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do they ain't gonna do no brothers no favors, man. And 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 people in that courtroom and lawyers and judges and prosecutors, if they had you know grew up probably how male murder grew up. He I, I don't I don't I don't believe he's one of those privileged kids that came from a two parent household. And um, my dog running around. I don't, I don't believe he came those parents from a uh, make sure you're doing shit. He he came from a two parent household where he a suburb and gangster. And his, his mom was a lawyer or his dad was a lawyer and he had money behind him. You know, I think he really came up, you know, from what I'm hearing, you know, like anybody else. But you put those judges and you put the lawyers and prosecutor, whoever it is, you put them in our shoes. You know what I'm saying? You put them, you know, growing up in the hood and and and, and, and go a straight path. They've been to kill themselves, man. They, they wouldn't have made it out like this. They wouldn't have made it through our situation. So. I can't understand where he coming from, and um, dude, really, I can't understand where he coming from, and um, and where he at. But when you got when you when you the Godfather of the non trade, and they identifying you as one of the a five star general, man, they not gonna have no real leniency on you. That letter might knock three years off, but he got a forfeit ten bands, and then also he got five year probation after doing a fourteen year bid. Now, the other drug other drug uh, charges he facing. Uh, I think uh, he could do 14 years, but they, they run concurrent. So if he get 14 from them charges, he doing 14. He get 11, and then he do 22. I believe it all run concurrent, so he'd do 11. So at the end of the day, you know, it's a way to go out. People going to remember that, and, and kids need to see that part of it. You know, kids need to see the guys that, that won't admit they, made a, that, that admit they made a mistake or admit that I wish I wouldn't die another. They need to see the part where the gangster is broken. You know, they need, everybody showed the part where uh, the, the Scarface balling or, or, or Rich Porter and them and uh, AZ balling and they up. But really, the downfall, the murders, the deaths, the prison, the oh, I wish I would have went another route. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Henry O, the octopus out there in California, he, you know, I wish that start, put the money up Star Death Row. He got a different outlook on life than what he was doing. And people wish they would have went legit because, you know, the crime in, in the time or, or, <laughs> The permanent, you know, exile of life being deaf, it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Especially right now, ain't no real money and dope out there for real no more. 
You know, not like it was. There's too many snitches in the game now, man. There's too many Rico laws and Rockefeller laws to knock people out. Back in the day, they was facing some of them laws. They weren't facing 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah, you ain't snitching. You did. You only did five years or whatever. Now you're facing a lifetime 20 years just for conspiracy. So it is what it is. He doing 11. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the emails. Little code out here. Uh, if you got business questions, query, response, your video questions, hit me up on Twitter. Want we'll to make a donation in the description. Uh, share the video. But, you know, hopefully he learned something from his time being in there, man. And I don't wish that upon nobody, man. And hopefully his story and other stories can help help guys figure out, you know, that ain't the route to go. I understood I understood coming up, man, in Detroit. I man, I have friends that carried the gun to school. I have friends that sold crack cocaine, you know I said, to be funny. I had gold guys that sold heroin and all that other shit. I understood, you know, I understood that that was them and that was my men's and shit. But I understood I didn't wanna I didn't wanna go down that route because I knew the uh I knew I knew the uh consequences, man. So you gotta understand there's consequences and repercussions to everything, man. You know, once you understand that and if you're willing to do the crime, I mean, do the do the crime and then do the time, then it's okay. But you really got to sit back and evaluate things, man. And that's how I was. I was a little bit before my time. I had family members that that uh, that made their mark and they living in that. And I had family members that did that. But for me personally, it just wasn't it. But, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Keep letting Miles run around here. He enjoying himself. One time for the one time we go.